G'day guys, Russell here. I know for police applicants preparing for entrance exams that the numeracy skills section can be the most daunting component. But as long as you learn the formulas, you'll have a step-by-step -step process that you can follow that will lead you to the correct answer. But occasionally, there is no reliable, repeatable formula to follow. Instead, we need to use logical deduction or a little bit of guesswork and reasoning to be able to come up with the correct answer. So I wanna share one of those types of questions with you in this particular video. So we'll go through the question together, pause the video, see if you can answer it, and then we'll go through how to come up with the correct answer together. So here's our question. Last month, Alex collected a number of rare coins. He also collected 18 more rare stamps than the number of rare coins he collected. This month, Alex collected more rare coins and now has three times the rare coins than he had last month. Alex now has an equal number of rare coins and rare stamps. How many rare items, coins and stamps, does Alex have now? All right, just a quick reminder about strategy. If you come across a question like this in your exam, there's clearly multiple stages to come to the right answer. This is one that you should simply skip and come back to later. But for the sake of understanding how to come up with the right answer, Pause the video now, have a go at it, see if you can come up with the right answer. We'll go through the workings out or the steps that we can take to find that right answer together and we'll disclose, of course, the correct answer for this question. Have a go and I'll be back in a moment to go through it together. Okay, let's lay this out as a bit of a calculation. And we know that the objective is to try to find this mystery number, but there are other elements to the question that we're gonna to need to deal with. Now to begin with, in trying to determine what this number is, we're going to have to take a little bit of an educated guesstimate, almost a stab in the dark, in order to give us a starting point. And from that starting point, we'll be able to work our way through a couple of steps to come up with the answer. So let's say that the number of coins we think Alex collected in month one was two, two coins. Now we know from the question that there were 18 more stamps than there were coins in month one. So that would mean there were 20 stamps collected. Now, if the question happened to ask us how many rare items, coins and stamps all together, naturally it would be the 20 stamps and the two coins. So the total number of items would be 22. Okay, and that's where we're ultimately needing to go with this question, but let's stay focused on this mystery number here. Now, we'll continue on with two. Let's say that it was two in the first month. We know that in the second month, he ended up with three times more coins than he had in month one. So if that's the case, two multiplied by three would give us six. Now we know that there were no additional stamps collected in the second month, so we still have 18 there. So if we have six coins and 18 stamps, we don't meet the other part of the question which stated that Alex now has an equal number of rare coins and rare stamps. So that is not the same number, or these two numbers are not the same, so it must mean that two is not the correct answer for this mystery box here. All right, so let's try a higher number. Let's try five. If we did five plus the 18, we're gonna end up with 23 stamps. Now, if he did have five stamps to begin with, and after the second month, he had three times that amount, that would mean that he ended up with 15 coins. Well, 15 coins and 23 stamps is not the same amount. So it can't be five. We're a little bit short here. And so we're gonna to need to aim a little bit higher. So let's try that. Let's do maybe a six. We'll get rid of some of that. So let's say it was six, six and, and 18, that's going to give us 24, 24 stamps. Six in the first month, three times that in the second month, so six, 12, 18. Okay, we're still short, 18 and 24 are not the same amount. So we've got to go a little bit higher. Let's try eight. So we're just going to keep skipping up a little bit. So now we end up with eight and 18, which is going to give us 26 stamps. He had eight in the first month, three times as many as that in the second month. So eight times three is 24, not quite 26. We're getting there, but eight is not the mystery number here because we don't end up with the same number of coins and stamps at the end of the second month. 
So let's try nine. I think we might be on the money here. Nine and 18 will give us 27 stamps in total. Nine in the first month, three times that. In the second month, nine threes are 27. Okay, so now we have the same number here. We've got 27 coins and 27 stamps. So that must mean that the first month, Alex collected nine coins. And we can justify that by showing that we ended up with the same number, which is what the question's asking for. Alex has now an equal number of coins and stamps. Well, that is the case if this number here is nine. Now, as we know, there's one more component to the question, and that is how many rare items, coins and stamps, does Alex have now? So, of course, we've got to add up the number of coins and the number of stamps, which is these two numbers here, which will give us a total of 54. So that's our answer to the question 54. Unfortunately, no step-by-step -step calculation or formula as such, because we do have to use a little bit of guesswork and then a little bit of reasoning and logic from that starting point to ultimately end up with the answer to the question. As always, guys, I hope that helps any questions sing out. Otherwise, I look forward to chatting to you again soon. Cheers.